For many people in America, violent video games are something they love to play. Although many people say violent video games are bad for people, research has so shown otherwise. Violent video games decrease the crime rate. Studies have shown that the sales of violent video games have decreased the crime, crime rate. Through a period of 1995 to 2008, sales of violent video games have quadrupled and rates, the rate of arrest for juveniles, juvenile kids have fell for 91.9%. The more violent video games are being sold, the less crime rate on the street. So why, why not play them? Another reason violent video games are good for people and kids in general is because they teach teach fighting skills and train them for future situations that could help them and save their lives. Games like Dead or Alive have the players simulate a fighting situation and games such as Dead or Alive teach players fighting styles such as Jeet Kune Do, Muay, Muay Thai, or Ninjutsu. People may need these skills in hand-to-hand -hand combat situation in the future and some video games actually teach people how to handle themselves in even situations such as gunpoint situations. All these skills t teach people skills that can be used to save their lives in the future. It is a parent's choice to buy a kid a violent video game. If they're not over 17 years old, the parent has to actually give permission and buy this game for the, fit stu the kid. So a parent has to be ready to allow their child to be able to play the game and must think that it is approved and it is good for their ch child to be able to play this kind of game. 87% um, of Parents say that the parental controls on new violent video games are very helpful. Parents can activate parental controls and limit the amount of explicit content and all the gore and all that in violent video games. So, And parents can also limit the amount of time their kids can be playing. So that's another reason that they shouldn't be fed. Some people say that violent video games cause people to act violently and be more aggressively. They say that it le video, violent video games lead kids to kill other people, but and even more, five of the recent school shootings around the world have been committed by violent video game teenagers, and all of this is just completely unlucky though. 91% um, of all teenagers in the world play violent video games and video games in general, commonly and regularly on a daily basis, which shows that the school killers were just coincidentally violent video game players. And overall, violent video games have many positive effects that help the community and the players. They lower their crime rate and possibly even save someone's life in a future situation. They are fun for people to play, and if people, if people enjoy them and they're not doing anything bad, then let them play.